When you install the SI5 trial, which is the full professional version of System Integrator 5, both the SI5 server and client are installed on the same machine. Uh, in order to get working uh, inside of SI5, go ahead and launch the client by clicking the icon that's labeled System Integrator 5 uh, on your desktop. The login screen will appear. Uh, it will automatically be filled in with the default username and password uh, for the trial, which happens to be uh, admin, and the password is also admin. Uh, then your server name and your port number will just automatically be filled in for you. If the server name happens to say localhost, don't worry because once again, the server is on the same machine. Uh, go ahead and click the login button. A splash screen will appear letting you know what version of System Integrator 5 is being installed. Then the main application for System Integrator 5 opens. We call this interface the navigator throughout most of our documentation. Now one of the first things that you're going to want to do uh, to get going with SI5 is click the Setup tab and enter relevant company information. You could also choose to run the uh, Application Setup Wizard, which is just a, a little interface that walks you through all of the fields that are out here under the Setup tab. Uh, don't forget to click the Edit button along the top here to make these fields editable. Here you can add your company information for reporting purposes as well as uh, a logo, a company logo, uh, to print on the reports. Uh, you're going to want to set your tax rates down here. Uh, you can see the defaults here are 7% and there's a labor sales tax rate of 7%. Uh, most of the other stuff under the setup tab are just drop down menus that you'll use throughout the software. One of the most important things you're going to want to set up uh, before creating a project in SI5 would be your phase rates. This is how SI5 charges labor. Uh, you can see we have four phases by default, rough-in, trim, programming, and finish. And we've set a cost and a price per hour for the base labor for a total of, uh, in this case, a default of $75 per hour. Now, there are a lot of fields out here that you can fill in, uh, but to get going with SI5, we recommend just use the base labor fields. Put your cost and your uh, price per hour here so the software will automatically calculate your labor for you when you add products to a job. When done, uh, go ahead and click the Save button here. Now, the next thing that you're going to want to do is to copy your local SI5 database up to the SI5 server. Uh, even though they're on the same machine at this point in a multi-user environment, um, they won't be on the same machine and you'll want to make sure that you're keeping your data synchronized. So, uh, to initially establish that data, go ahead and click the Sync Product Data link here from the Start tab. When you do this, you're going to see a prompt letting you know that your server database has not yet been populated and asking if you do want to copy your local data. When you click yes, you're going to see another confirmation screen, just a warning letting you know, like, look, it, we're going to transfer all the data from your local machine to the server. Everything currently on the server is going to be deleted. Of course, don't worry about this. This is the initial setup. Just go ahead and click yes, and that will begin the synchronization process. When finished, uh, you'll see a little message here letting you know that the uh, upload is complete. Just go ahead and click OK on that. Uh, now every time when you synchronize um, your data, it'll copy any changes you've made locally out to the server. And again, that's going to keep everybody else in your company uh, synchronized with you. If you prefer, you can have the software automatically synchronize your data for you each time you launch SI5. You can set that option here under the File menu. It's just called Sync Product Data on Startup. SI5 is now ready to use.